Welcome to our YouTube channel. Let's get back to nature now with our friend Kevin Kelly, resident wild man, as he introduces the Slimline Back to Nature background. Hi, I'm Kevin Kelly from Brooklyn Hardscape, and this evening we're going to set up a Slimline Back to Nature background. This is their sand color. We're going to install it into this Dennerlay uh, scaper's tank. So what's great about the Back to Nature uh, Slimline is you have a grid pattern in the back that will help you measure it. And what we're going to do today is we're going to install the background and then do a secondary front to hide a filter. That you have a nice little layout you can do for your shrimp and have a little mini aquascape. I'm going to get an idea of where I'm going to be cutting by holding it up to the tank and measuring on the inside. So we have here. When cutting, make sure you wear your safety equipment. You should only need a, an industrial uh, cutting knife. These are pretty cheap. Once you get a nice little groove going, add a little more pressure. Make sure you're cutting on a cutting mat or something that'll protect the table that you're cutting on. Game begin. So we're going to insert the background like so. And we're going to use a single part epoxy that is not a silicone. Um, it's a new product that will be coming out soon in the States. Now to apply it to the background, we're going to do a framing with an X to mark the spot, a little daub in the center, and then just as an added precaution, we're going to put a little bit on the base along here. Now the idea is that we don't want to allow any water flow, so we have a build up of bacteria or any, anything you don't want in there, no sediment build up. So we want to completely seal it to the back of the aquarium. the aquarium on its side and gently and carefully so. and then to secure it you use some bags of stone of sand or stone and let it sit for four hours or overnight five hours later so now that the glue is set we're going to add the secondary piece. We're going to use the box of the filter for a good measuring tool. Put it here. And let it cure for another four hours. When it's cure and we flood the tank, you'll be able to insert the filter, no problem. And then you can add your aquascape and stones and build up a nice little shrimpscape. And that's back to nature's slimline uh, aquarium background.